I apologize for the background noise. There's a lot of it. This is windy. It's a windy day today in this greenhouse. You can hear it really loud. Today, I'm planting... And there's dirt bikes riding in the back behind my house, which happens like almost every day. So again, I apologize. We're just gonna push through. So today I am planting some spinach here. Matador from Botanical Interests. This will be my first set of seeds that I'm starting for the spring season. I plan on also starting some, uh, some other vegetables that I need to get started in order to be ready for late spring, early summer, as far as like peppers and tomatoes. Again, I'm in uh, Wilmington, North Carolina, zone 8A, and we have a really long growing season, but you do want to get a head start so that your plants are big and healthy, so when it comes time to transplant them, they're gonna thrive when you put them in your garden. But today, this is what I'm going with right now. You know, hopefully in a few weeks, I'll be able to put these bad boys in the raised bed, but in the meantime, I'm just gonna go ahead and start putting these guys. So I'm gonna put these guys here already in this tray that I've already prepped. And just in case you're wondering what my C starting mix is, this is what I'm using. Again, I'll put a link to the kit that I use for planting my, for starting all my C's with the humidity dome, the trays, and everything. So to save time, I've already put my soil in and I've already made my holes. I just gotta put the seeds in. And luckily enough, unlike lettuce seeds, spinach seeds are very large in size. show you real quick here. Seeds are really big. You can see that. Big seeds. All right, so this shouldn't take that long. Now I'm gonna do two per, two per hole. This is a 128 cell tray. And I do two just again to ensure that I do have a germination in the event one doesn't sprout. I have a backup. But as I'm looking at my seeds here, I don't know if I have enough. So we're, you know, we're gonna switch them, just go one per hole. And then we'll circle back around once each hole has a seed. I've had some luck. No, I take that back. I've had, I had the best of luck when it comes to spinach seeds. We're just starting spinach. So it should be easy. Mm. Just like that, I knew I was gonna run out. I do have a tip back. So what I always say with gardening, you always gotta switch things up. So it looks like every hole is just getting one. And that's okay too. I told you it was windy today. It's a very nice day, but just windy. Almost done here. I really did not have enough seeds. That's okay. I have this backup pack here. You can see that's a baby leaf. I'm only using three of these seeds here. Yeah. All right. Now that that's done, I'm just going to cover the seeds and water them, and then we're done. And then with spinach seeds, it takes a, I'll see how long it takes for these to germinate here, five to 10 days. So under the right conditions, they can germinate sooner than that, but we'll see. We we'll just have to let nature do its thing. They are covered. Now we just have to water them. All right, I think that's good. And then let's put this dome on it. Oh, let me label it. What was this? Again, spinach, matador. All right, and we're done here. In time, of course, whatever this is. So that's it, everything's done. Now we just wait, five, 10 days, we'll come check back, see how these are doing. But hopefully in four to six weeks, these will be ready to go into the garden. 
I'll have plenty of spinach that I'll be able to harvest in the spring, early summer, before it gets too hot and they have to go. But let me know what you think. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave your comment. And if you haven't already, do me a favor, please hit that like button. And if you haven't, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. Peace.